Hi there, Brian here at the Angels Modelling and Railways. You're in for a treat today. Going to be doing a running session on various locals and stock that I have. Uh, basically because I've got some of the scenery stuff done, some of the buildings done, and I just gave the track a good clean and thought, yeah, let's get some stock out there and uh, treat everyone on the channel to some of the nice stock that I have that is currently building up on Angels Ridge Railroad. So let's get started. First one up is the articulated logging local, the 2662. With the mountain lumber, flat car, tank car, Great Northern box car, Lehigh Valley, short caboose. Next up we have the Alco S2 in the Grand Trunk livery. And it's followed with the caboose that is in Grand Trunk livery too. It's the couple of caboose. This is what it's all about. All the hard work and all the effort, all the painting the ties and painting the tracks and putting the scenery in really was so the big kid in me could have trains running around the loop in a tiny wee corner in the living room. Yeah, can you beat it? Next up in this running session is the Bachman HO scale. This is the Alco S4 diesel and it's in Pennsylvania livery.
Here we have the Alco S4 now pulling the old timey cars. Now the plan for this is that this old Pennsylvania switcher is used specifically to pull these Pennsylvania coaches in from a destination they've already arrived in from Pennsylvania on a tour into Ontario. And what happens is that the tourists on this train coming to Angels Ridge will arrive with the switcher bringing them from a location elsewhere where they will get off, potter about Angels, Angels Ridge, do their doings. Uh, obviously anybody getting on here from Angels Ridge can load their baggage onto the car and what will happen is that the switcher will basically detach from the train it will move out the way into one of the sidings and then the steam locomotive will come out pick up the tourist train and then take it on its tour around about Ontario, Angels Ridge Mountain Range explain all the logging industries and then people can go off and on as they choose then the steam local, which is housed here, will bring the train back. Then the Pensy switcher will take these uh, three coaches, well, two coaches and the baggage car, to the next the location where they came from, where that locomotive will then take them back to Pennsylvania on their, basically, their exciting adventure. That's all in my head. It just exists in my brain, and it's a wonderful place to be. So, yeah, now let's get the steam local set up that will be pulling this heritage train round about Ontario. So now that the switcher has detached and would actually sit somewhere in one of the sidings, possibly in this siding here next to the engine shed to get refuelled at the diesel point, I will be getting these tracks isolated in order for me to have locomotives sat there and not move when I'm actually running trains. So the steam locomotive of choice today will be the 060 with slope tender. It will take them on, it's a short haul tender, so it will take them in the short haul leg of the journey. And what we basically do, all part operations will be that it will come out and receive coal and water, the coal and water area, and then get some sand in the sand boxes, which are above. The locomotive, those two large domes, will hold sand, sand domes, and then basically this will now make its way out of the sidings and go and make up the train for the tourists. Now that I've flicked the ground, ground throw switch, we can now move the local down towards the branch line to hook up to the train. Give the passengers and tourists something to photograph and film before they go on their adventure. And now the local backs up onto the train. The passengers are freshly loaded. And that should be hooked up. Yep. And then off they pop on their little tour around about Angels Ridge mountain range. After letting it run for a bit, they come in from the south, returning back to Angels Ridge for them to get taken for this day. Stop off, get refuelled, passengers to get a little break, fresh passengers, continuous passengers, etc. And then now this can go back over to the engine shed, get refuelled and stocked up. 
And it's a great excuse for running around it lay out with older stock and just let your imagination run wild. What to do? And the beauty of a fictional layout or proto freelance or whatever you want to call it is that you can run whatever you want. So I could have my 2662 pulling the tourist train. Yeah, that's really smart looking. Colours work really well together as well in the green local with the deep maroon of the coaches. Yeah, so never be afraid of running what you want, doing the layout your way. Yeah, there's plenty of people out there with great advice and there's plenty of people out there show you how to do it properly. But for me, it's all about the fun, letting my imagination run wild and just doing what I like to do. And that's run trains in a loop with a little bit of shunting thrown in. And finding bargains like this also helps a hobby. And I thought I would save the best to last. This will be the Riverossi train as it were. Because what I'm going to bring into shot now is my stunning looking piece of machinery, the Riverossi Heisler. with the Riverossi log car train so these are the two new ones that I got and these are the two that I had TPL is the Pickering Lumber Company I believe and the little logging caboose at the rear nice slow moving train as they are And we're just looking forward to getting the Shea from KR Models at some point to complement this layout. In fact, this is why this whole layout was built. It was for the Shea locomotive. So yeah, the Heisler locomotive, built by the Heisler Locomotive Works, early 1900s. 20s, 30s, 40s. This layout is based in the 40s, but when the logging industries were booming, and it's one of River Rossi's nicest locomotives. They've re-released them, and I would say they were worth getting if you're interested in getting one. I got this far cheaper than the ones that are released just now. That is the Ohio Match Company livery number four. Heisler, famous logging locomotives that could climb and descend steep grades with heavy loads, just like the Shays. Very important locomotives. And I really do like the sound of this one, the way it's running, listening to those gears. Sounds amazing. So here I've sat the heritage train. Baggage and provisions could be loaded on here for stuff getting taken further down the line as well as for tourists and, and industries. So that's why it's sat at the team track. And here's the lovely sound of the Heisler as it approaches. Yeah, you just got to love this hobby. It's fascinating. I can spend hours doing this, just entertaining myself. Happy film when all you want to do is just kind of sit and watch them run round and let your imagination flow as what's going to come next scenic wise. So much more to do.